brought to you by the website www.allabouthomeelectronics.com. For more information on this topic or other topics pertaining to home electronics, visit the website by clicking the link located directly below this video. With the iPad 2, you want to go to the Settings app and click on it. And then you want to look here on the left and select Wi-Fi. Make sure it's turned on. And then where it says Choose Network, if you're entering a new network, in other words, you want to connect to a network and you want to input the new information for that new network, click on Other. And here it's going to ask you to input your network name and your security. Now, here's what the network name actually means. When you set your network up, when you set your wireless computer router up, your Wi-Fi router up, typically a custom name is input into the settings field of that router. So that's your Wi-Fi name. If you're at your home, your wireless router has a name. Now, in this particular situation, the name of the router is just called Linksys. Linksys, in this case, is the manufacturer of this particular router. And Linksys gives what's called a default uh, router name from the factory, and in this case, it was never changed. So that was the name of the the name of the network was called Linksys. But in most cases, the name of the network is a custom name, and so you would need to put it in that field. And in many cases, that name is going to be case sensitive. So if the name was input all caps, make sure you match it here, all caps. If it was half caps and half lowercase, again, match it letter for letter here. If if your router is case sensitive, which many are because it's more secure, you must match the case sensitivity in the name. And the next thing you want to do is click on security. Now, basically you have one of a few security options here. One option is no security, which means that anybody who wants to access your computer network and your computers or other internet connected devices you know if they know what they're doing they can so that's really not a wise option but in some cases you'll find that people don't have any security inactivated because they want their network to be open to people and you might find this in public places like restaurants coffee shops uh... the airport and things of that effect now typically today in current times and we're talking year two thousand twelve uh, WEP, W-E-P, that's the most common form of security encryption. And then, of course, you have WPA, WPA2, and then these other options down here at the bottom of the list. But uh, it, you need to know what type of security, if any, has been put into your router. Because if you don't know and you, put, you select the wrong security option here, then you're still not going to be able to access the Internet through your router. Now, of course... If there is no security option, then uh, really you're, it's not going to matter because your iPads just should automatically connect to the Internet. But uh, in this case, now, where would you find this information? In other words, where, how would you know what type of security your router has uh, if you don't really know? Well, one option, and I don't necessarily recommend this, you could go through the process of elimination until you figure it out. But... That could be very frustrating and very time-consuming, but it, it is an option and it does work. Um, but in many cases, uh, if it's a current router, WEP is going to be the way to go. Uh, WPA and WPA2, those are uh, a little more dated security encryption methods, and um, some hackers all across the world have pretty much figured out the holes, uh, so WEP is, is, is the tightest way to go. So we come back down to this field after we've selected WEP, and now you would type in your password. Again, uh, make sure it's case sensitive, that it, it matches. You know, sometimes people don't put a password in. Sometimes the password is just password. Uh, but make sure your case sensitivity matches. When you're done, when you're when you're done with that information, just click the join button right here, and look at the top, and it'll say it's joining and it's going to tell you whether you're successful or not. Now in this case, because I'm making an example video, it didn't find the network because I just typed in an arbitrary network name. But uh, we could go back, select this one here, and then the network is back on. 
brought to you by the website www.allabouthomeelectronics.com. For more information on this topic or other topics pertaining to home electronics, visit the website by clicking the link located directly below this video.